Welcome, 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 and welcome. I am Divine Prim Carrot 144. This is the karma reading for the month of October 2020. And this is from the Karma Cards deck by Monty Farber. I'm going to be um, discussing and focusing on the outcome after major transitions. The outcome after major transitions. What is the karma and the outcome after major transitions for the month of October 2020? And the way that this works, we have a planets card, we have a signs card, and then we have a houses card. And so each of these cards, um, the outcome is always going to be the information in blue. We don't pay attention to the one in red that's for a different purpose. And we're going to have a spiritual message and answer, a mental message and answer, and a physical mental message and answer. And so the way that I do this, I correspond the planets with the spiritual. I correspond the signs with the mental. And then I correspond the physical with the houses. And so I'll read it and um, in that particular um, way. And so um, a lot of this, um, it all ties together as one. And speaking of one, um, I actually titled this The One because of the overall message um, that I received from this. And so with each of these cards too, they each have their own individual decks. And I do a individual shuffle for each of the planet decks, uh, the planet deck the uh, signs deck and the houses deck. And so with the planets, when I shuffled that deck, that was a pretty long shuffle. And um, usually I wait until I get a sign. I just waited for the sign to be received. Um, so this one was actually um, to go um, as planned, as I intended, I should say. And so with the signs, um, I didn't necessarily do the same for that deck. Um, what it, what ended up happening, I paused um, at seeing an animal of two different species. And I, I, I couldn't, almost like, I'm gonna say a, a gargoyle, but it wasn't. It was like a bull and possibly something mystical is what I had pictured. And so when that came into my head, that's when I stopped the shuffle for the, um, the signs deck. And then for the houses deck, um, I had the, the energy and the message to count to 10 and I counted pretty slowly. Um, and so the reason why I mentioned this is, um, because this may resonate, um, with some of you, if not all of you, um, some of this, as I mentioned, this may resonate. And so that's why I mentioned that. Um, it might be special for you and let you know that this is a particular message just for you. Okay, so I'm going to begin with the planets. And with the planets card, the card that decided to show was the planet of Venus. And I'll just begin reading what I have written here. With Venus, there is a lot of love portrayal, along with beauty, all things positive, associated with feminine energy. But with this card and personal study and research, v Venus is more about the shadow self and embracing, really nurturing the attended soul within and all that one stands for. Second from the sun, Venus is helping create stable and strong foundations that relate to the home and to the heart. The attraction of energies to meet the challenge of who you are simply speaks of one spiritual journey while going through transitions and the major transformation that will result, helping us to become our best self as we continue to level up and align our energies with corresponding energies, helping us to get to where we need to go. The challenge of who we are is that shadow self that we may tend to run from, ignore, avoid, or try to eliminate. But it is a part of us always, so it is always there. People, places, and situations outside of us are what we manifest to help us learn, heal, and grow into our true selves, our true authentic selves. And when we really want this, this is when, you know, it's, it's really up to us to go for it. When we better ourselves, we better the world, and we help others too. 
like attracts like. And so with the signs card, we have the sign of Aries, and we're going to focus on the mental answer. Aries, fiery, standing your ground, and for what is truth. Venus is in Leo currently, and this was in Sidereal, and this was also when I, when I actually did the message, which was about a week ago. But the message resonates because this is for the month of October. Um, the fiery energy... Um, was pretty intense with this, with Venus being in Leo. So that's why it was mentioned as well. Um, it does still resonate and it does carry as energies don't necessarily dissipate right away. They continue to linger and still add into the next energy that comes after that. And so um, I'm not really surprised with the fiery energy that we received um, from this card with Aries coming out. Um, a lot of you in, um, who study tropical astrology would also say, you know, we had, we just had a full moon in Aries. Aries is considered the alpha, the beginning of the zodiac signs. With this, I get leadership, deep love and passion and determination for greater change that results in ultimate happiness. Represented by the ram, there is a take charge energy that is assured mastered and has maneuvered in ways that only help with increase and not harm pleasure from your desires regarding your desires is a pretty good summation of saying i am fully aware of what is what can be and what will be and i am taking the necessary steps of guidance to get there so we have pleasure from your desires regarding your desires well prepared rest assured reaping rewards from greatly sown seeds all right and so for the houses we have the first house and then we'll focus on the physical home of the you y-o-u another alpha position this house is where the ascendant falls it's all about who you are individually and intrinsically a very powerful house that shows off to the world Original home of Aries, the element is fire, with all three candles holding some, excuse me, not candles. Candles may resonate with someone for some reason that came out. Didn't mean to say that. With all three cards holding some representation of fire, and that could be the actual symbolism. Um, so some of you are doing um, certain rituals, using candles, whether it's rituals or meditation. Um, i just seen that. And so um, I would say that this transformation and or transitions for this month is quite a force, a long time in the making that has created a level that is to be reckoned with. I get overall just completely taking a stand for self in the strongest way, obliterating any and all obstacles and making things happen, taking that fire and turning it inward. Good times resulting from the honesty and strength of your actions good times resulting from the honesty and strength of your actions to me means hard work definitely pays off and because the work was so hard and you persevered a new you has been born where you see your own worth and value you know what you are made of and can do more of and will not stand for any of the bullshit that may come around you did the work which was done with not only strength and perseverance but with integrity where you let no one push you off of your path and did what you and did what would result in even greater rewards kudos a light inside my fire divine energy fill me and make me shine so this is the reading that i have this is a karma reading for the month of october 2020 i hope that this resonates with uh, most of you i thank you so much for um, your love and support and just for being here and wanting to help yourself because helping yourself is helping others. So again, I thank you. I love you and I wish you the best. See you next month. Peace.